Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Awesome people, beautiful people. Hope you're doing fantastic, inshallah. I'm here with my brother SQ. That's me. From the Big Apple, from New York. He came to visit all the way from New York to Egypt. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And um, we went around Egypt. We did some awesome things. We went to the pyramids. We, we ate out. We went yeah. shopping. It was great, alhamdulillah. But now I want to take you guys on this little journey and. Um, We're about to get hijama done. So SQ does hijama in New York, okay? He's gonna do it in Egypt for the very first time. I'm not the first person you ever did international? Ever. International. First international client, alhamdulillah. So uh, <laughs> we're about to do hijama. I want you guys to see this, so let's begin, bro. But, uh, but before we do that, what you don't understand is that Faisal was just like, hey SQ, I need hijama. Let me fly you out business class to get this done. So if you're out there, just know that he will fly you out. <laughs> no. If you're a graphic designer, he needs graphic. Hey, just say, hey, Faisal, I could do graphic designing. He'll fly you out. But nothing sharp than business class, right? He, this guy, he got this. He's, he's messing with you guys. Let's take you for this. Ain't nobody loaded like that. <laughs> but listen, so first of all, we're gonna begin by showing you exactly how he rolls. So these are his tools, right? So show us what you got, SQ. Okay. So basically, it's gonna be these disposable cups, right? Super right. simple. Okay. Uh, they're fully packaged already. This is how they look like. They're, they're plastic cups, okay? Gotcha. We're gonna be doing just the upper back, the sunnah areas of Faisal, but essentially that's what the cup looks like. What I'm gonna be using to actually uh, uh, you know, take some suction out so I could uh, pump the skin. Yeah. It's gonna be this tool, right? It's a very simple tool. Okay. It's not my favorite one because I actually have a custom made one. Okay. But this is just my traveling to go one. So, what actually happens is that it goes on your skin like this, oh, okay? Wow. And you're gonna see from the angle right here, I'm gonna do a pull. Oh my god. And it just sucks out and it's just gonna do that, right? Oh my god. And, and basically, there is no pain on this right what? now. And basically, from that point on, your your area is going to go numb. Now, the purpose of this is to basically remove and bring up, bring up all the toxic blood that is in that area on top of the muscle and underneath the skin. Okay. Because the toxins are what give you and cause you pain hmm. in those specific areas. So, huh. if I'm having a specific pain in an area, I would put a cup in that area and it would remove and pull up to the surface of the skin hmm. the, all the toxic blood. Hmm. But, that's just called cupping itself. Okay. The sunnah cupping, which is called wet cupping, requires me to basically take that same thing and I use a sterile blade. And after holding it in that area you for about so big, yeah, and just a little, you just, gonna, just, just. You, you gonna cut me? Just a little, okay? Oh you're, you're, you can handle it, don't worry, you, you can handle it. Okay, okay, so look, so basically when it's on that area for about two minutes, it's just gonna leave like a little red circle. That red circle represents all the toxic blood in that area. Hmm. I'm gonna take a sterile blade, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put light surface level scratches like this in those areas. Wow. Like that, okay? Now let me actually do it on your arm so you know how it feels, okay? Right now? Yeah, just right now, just on your arm, right here. Put, put it right here. This is how it's gonna feel, give or take. Oh, that's it, with the blade. With the blade, that's how it's gonna feel. And he's doing it with the plastic right yeah, now. Yeah, that's exactly how it's gonna feel. Really? But only difference is it's actually gonna cut you a little bit. Now the cut is like a paper cut, but a little less painful than that. Okay. Let me put that cut back on on that area and then you'll see the blood rise. Now, okay. there's some, a few misconceptions when it comes to hijama. Huh. The first thing is that people think it's only for those who have back and body pain. That's not what it's, that's not what it's for. The Messenger Salaam taught us that seek cure through hijama. Uh -huh. A lot of people have a misconception that the cure means it's a physical cure. Absolutely uh -huh. not. Uh -huh. Out of the mercy of the Messenger Salaam, he taught us that any cure through hijama. That doesn't mean you don't put in the work. So if you're having spiritual issues, iman issues, mental health issues, perhaps psychological issues, you're trying to get married, you're having financial difficulties, you're in school, exams, everything. If you have a problem, this has the cure. Okay, hijama has the cure for that. Okay, obviously, granted, you're putting in the work. You need to put in the work. Now, the next mix, um, the next misconception is the following: that uh, the shifa, the cure, is in all that gunky, the blood and the things that you see on social media. Mm. Like, oh no, that's not where the shifa is. The shifa, according to the Messenger Sallallahu is in the actual cuts that is placed on the person. So when the cuts are taking place, that's the best time to make du'a. Oh. Make tons of du'a at that time, because it's sort of like drinking Zamzam water, mm. you know, and how you make du'a drinking Zamzam water, it's very similar to that sort of concept as okay. well too. So uh, basically that's what it's like. Let me just do one cup on your body so you know how it feels like, okay? Oh, so man. this is on your arm. All this right. is what it's gonna feel like, bro, okay? Bismillah. Inside, put the put the thing on the inside. Uh, yeah, there we go. On the inside. And this is what it's gonna feel. This is what the pressure is, give or take. That's it. That's it. 
Oh, wow. it okay. looks so freaky though. Exactly. So in two minutes, in two minutes, uh -huh. right? Um, I'm gonna take this off, yeah. and then it would leave a little mark like that. Yeah. A little bit darker, and then I'd just do this. Oh. That's what's gonna happen. And then I put the cup back on for about ten minutes, uh -huh. and then now uh, we clean you up. And the number one thing is this: I could guarantee you this. That if you do this with the right intention, that I want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because not only is it a sunnah, mm. it's a forgotten sunnah. So you're getting reward like multiplied because it's a forgotten sunnah. Okay. Guaranteed, your body will feel amazing. Okay. But if you came with the right intention, not only will you be rewarded mm -hmm. for this, it's an act of worship. Mm -hmm. It's an act of worship because you're following the sunnah and you're that's reviving awesome. a sunnah that's sort of going out of style, if you imagine that. So um Bro, let's get you on this bed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So that's all the equipment. That's all your that's tools. All. Yeah. That, that's it. Awesome. And some, you know, some sterilizing stuff like this. Okay. This is so I don't touch anything. Okay. Uh, that's bad. So this is just like a, a little sanitation pad. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Because we don't want. Gotcha. We want the cleanliness is important. You know that awesome. Russian dude who's just like safety is top priority. <laughs> yeah. Cleanliness is super important, bro. All right. Awesome. So for for you all to see this real quick. This is how we're doing it. We set up this little station in the living room. Okay, um, I'm gonna be laying down right here. All right, the wife will be recording me. Alhamdulillah. All right, this is the main angle, so you will see, you will see my back at all times, inshallah, to see what exactly what SQ is doing. All right, so we're just gonna get this going, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. And if you if you're in the New York area, you're gonna see exactly how SQ does it. All right, you gotta hit him up, inshallah. All right, because. Listen, this is a rare thing. I don't know in the States of somebody who does this professionally, you know, and SQ does it. I do do this, all right? Professionally. If you, if you are in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, I don't care if you're in Florida, you come to me, I got you. And we also have a physical, uh, a female therapist, actually. Yes. So I don't do the he sisters. Doesn't, he doesn't do the sisters. sisters. He doesn't do the sisters. Yeah, he doesn't do the that. sisters, yeah. and uh, he has Don't think I haven't thought about it, but I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. Can't. My wife does, my wife's a therapist, so she does it for the sisters. So if your um, sister out there, contact me so I can get you to my wife and yeah. Okay, awesome. So let's do this. Bismillah. Uh, we're gonna get into this now. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on you. Mm -hmm. I usually have like a, a spray thing in my jig, so like. It's know, just so easier. Just, yeah, probably. It's, yeah, I have like an actual equipment for it. Let me think. Like, Ooh, okay, just hold on. Oh, okay, Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah. Okay. Okay. Now there's no special du'a or anything like that. So a lot of times people are just like, are there specific du'as I need to read or something like that? Absolutely not. There's no such thing, okay? You can just recite any du'a, any Qur'an that you know yourself, mm -hmm. and you're a Hafiz of you know a lot. So uh, you recite any Qur'an that you would like to recite, and um, you just be doing that. Any du'a that's from your heart, meaning things are whatever, you need clarity in your life, whatever it is, this has a solution. Um, so I was actually nervous before we started, you know, because, yeah. uh, like, you know, I've, I've, I've skydived, <laughs> I've got a glass, you know. And that's, this is nothing, bro. Skydiving, this is nothing. Those, those, they each have their own level of nervousness, you know. Yeah. But uh, after, you, you know, showed me what the cuts are going to feel like, and what the suction is going to feel like, I'm a lot more How does nervous. that feel, by the way? It feels great. It feels, it actually feels feels nice. Yeah. It feels like a little bit, so I'm just gonna rub that. How does that feel? Wow. Right? It feels like fingers that are just touching your skin like deep into yeah. it, so your muscle. Yeah. Right? That's how it feels, right here, okay? Yeah. Now what this is essentially is a scan. I'm scanning, I'm massaging you, but at the same time I'm scanning for any real muscle or tissue damage, okay? Usually people, and I can see that he's already having an issue, it's called uh, fibrosis. A lot of people have it because it's just muscle damage in the area. And as you can see that this is getting really, really red, so he actually has a back issue. What he would need is something that we offer called Graston therapy, which is breaking up the tissue and the muscle, the scar tissue, and uh, just relieving the pain from that area and then using cups and hijama to remove the issue, okay? So like basically right now, you're about to see it. You're about to see it. Now, if you could zoom in a little bit more, you're gonna start seeing you're gonna start seeing little dots. I don't know if you see them on the camera. These little dots, right? They start feeling, it's gonna look like a bruise. Watch. Oh, oh yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is called petechia. Petechia is basically the bad blood that's underneath the skin, okay? That blood is causing them to have issues right here in these areas. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee you, you have issues here, yes? yes? So that's called petechia. 
overall, this is called fibrosis. It's scar tissue, something damaged with his back, maybe from mm. uh, leaning over. Or maybe a car accident. Or, yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. Any accidents really do that, right? So watch this. Usually we have a device, which I don't have on me, but we would break this down by just scrubbing into this. Now, what I use is I don't use the metal tool. Mm. I use uh, a Chinese tool called the Gua Sha tool mm. because it's just, it's just a better tool for me to personally use. It doesn't have more significant interest than the other, but nonetheless, it's it's just a really good tool. So as you can see this, like it's red. Now I can show you right here. Okay. Now in reality, I don't have enough cups for that, but in reality, what you would need if you came to my clinic, I would have told you, you need a full back session. You don't need a half. What you're getting right now, bro, is called a half back, okay. where we're gonna put it in the sunnah areas, which is here, here and here. These are the actual sunna areas. Okay. Then we put a cup right here to relieve all the mid-back pain. Mm -hmm. And then we put two cups over here and here, cup each over here, because these are the sunna areas to remove all the lower back pain. What you would actually need is a full back, which are cups going all the way down here and cups going all the way down here. That's what you actually need, right, in, in real life therapy, okay? So what we're doing is just this over here. I'm not gonna mess with this even more because this is showing you that he has real damage over here. Mm -hmm. This is called petechia. That's what this uh, red stuff means. It represents petechia, okay? Mm -hmm. If I do this over here, I don't see much happening over here. On the shoulders right here. Let's see. Damn, bro. Um, like you're having like real shoulder issues as well. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad, man. It's bad. Like, over here. I don't see it until... No, no, you'll see it at the end. You'll see it at the end. You'll, you'll see it develop, which is really cool that we're capturing it on the camera. Like the camera's gonna see it all, bro. Like nothing really lower back is really that, but upper back, then you see this, this, right? Like all of this right here is like red, bro. And it's just like, it's just damaged, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna feel great. And again, it's just from, it's from labor. Oh, working out could absolutely do that. But it's labor. It could be how you're seated, your posture, a lot of things. It could be from not working out. It could be from how you're eating. No, so this is no, no, not this. This is not from eating. No, this is not from eating. This is an actual scar in the muscles, in the muscle and tissue. Yes, this is showing that there's a tissue issue. A little tissue issue happening over here, right? So we're gonna put the first cup right here. That's fine. Okay, so, so when we when we do these, yeah, make sure you capture these shots from these angles because that's capturing everything, okay? And when if, if I'm talking about it, just put the camera more towards me if you haven't already done that because we're getting those shots already. But this is good because we get to see like the pump. Oh my God. Wow. That is so cool. Oh. You feel the tightness, right? It's okay. It's going to go in about 40 seconds, it'll all go away. Mm -hmm. All of this will go away, okay? Now I'm just getting ready to do the cuts. I guess while we're waiting, you want to tell us about yourself, bro? <laughs> yes, while we wait, you can learn more about me with a blade in my hand, right? Um, so basically, this is what I do part-time, obviously. I have an actual clinic in New York City. Uh, if anyone's interested, of course, you could come by. But most importantly, I'm a, by profession, obviously, I'm a teacher. But most people know me from my social media. So people know me from like my Instagram or my YouTube and where I'm just helping people draw closest to Allah in a more motivating sort of sense of doing it, right? So now, bro, this is gonna be the first cut, okay? The first cut's gonna happen right here. And the reason, by the way, just to be clear, I'm using this is because uh, I forgot to pack gloves. That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's so okay. I'm just using this. But it's always sanitary, it's still clean. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, you okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on one second. That's okay. Mm. Describe how that feels, bro. It's like just it's just like a needle poking you. Yeah. Like it, it, doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all. Like it doesn't feel like you're getting punctured yeah. or anything. No, no, no. no. It doesn't. Alhamdulillah. It's just like scratching. That's scratching, it. right? Yeah. So watch what's gonna happen now, okay? Let me just like clean this up a little more so you could get a better angle of it. Okay, watch this, okay? So this is here. I'm gonna pull it up and just watch what's gonna happen. Wow, that right is so I'm not using that, I gotta use my fingers. Okay, watch this. Get ready. That I don't even feel. Alhamdulillah. It's like very tiny. Alhamdulillah. 
the lower you get, actually, the more sensitive your stuff gets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so watch this. This is going to happen here. And just watch how this is going to pop. And the blood wow. is just going to flow out. Wow. That is so sick. Yeah, man. See, so, so when, when people get hijama done and they complain that it hurts them, it's not being done correctly? Uh, okay, so good point. Yeah. Some people are more sensitive than others. It's true, mm -hmm. right? But it also comes down to the therapist and how light their hands are. Mm -hmm. I would say my hands are very, very light. They're very gentle uh, because I, my skin is sensitive myself mm -hmm. okay. and I feel it. Okay. So I try my best to be quick okay. and uh, in, in the important areas to mm -hmm. get it done. Like, how are you feeling right now, bro? Good. Like fine. Like, did it hurt? No. Like, like, there might be some, you know, general discomfort. Uh, discomfort. Like, you can't avoid that. But I try my best to be super swift okay. in and out. Right. So you don't have to worry about that. Because I know people that have gotten it done and they just complain about how horrible it is mm -hmm. and how painful mm -hmm. and. I'm sorry, bro. I'm like gonna switch your side. Like during side. the process. I'm switching the sides. Okay. I'm gonna do that one later. Okay. okay. Now take a look at this color. You see that? It looks like a pepperoni, okay? The reason oh, is, yeah. is because there's a lot of toxins stuck in this area. Mm. So I can predict right now that not much is going to come out because there's so much there. Ah. Because there's so much there, it's less likely to come out. Now, bro, this is a little more sensitive because it's lower, okay? Bismillah, I'll be quick. Now, SubhanAllah, that's where he has most of his pain. Did you tell him about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's that? Oh, he didn't even, uh, he noticed. Mm. Yeah, I noticed it, didn't I? I caught it. Yeah. I actually caught I, it. I didn't bring it up or anything. Now, all these I'm just doing a little more tighter, bro, just because it's important that, you know, we, your muscles are going to feel really relaxed and good. Mm. But uh, it's important that we get that closer. Now, I can't forget one thing. We're going to be putting them on your neck, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are going to be good. Now, you know, just saying, you know, the, huh? the one on my lower back? Yeah. I felt that the least. Really? Yeah. Get out. Bro, there's, so there's two general comforting feelings, right? One who feels like, oh, I feel it all. Some people don't feel it or they feel tickled. They will laugh during it. They'll be really? like, oh, and they're just moving around. You see, you see the blood underneath that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do one more on your neck right here. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you look like Frankenstein. It's, <laughs> it's going to go away, okay? All right, so bro, tell me how this one feels, okay? Get ready. Yeah. How does that feel? Yeah. Does that feel okay? Not yeah. good, right? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah, you ready? How does it feel, man? I don't feel it. You don't feel it? It's not on me, you're messing with me. <laughs> I am messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right here, okay? There's a lot of in there, but it's just stuck. Okay. It's tighter, mm -hmm. yeah. But you know what? I want to keep the lower tighter because you have an actual lower back issue. Yeah, yeah. So when we release it, it's going to feel incredible. Okay, this one up. You actually need like mad cups there. Okay, but let me see what I can do. Whoa! That is so cool. I, that's why I love it, bro. It never gets old for me. Like, I always feel like people are like, I have one more cup, I'm going to just put it over. Just so I can give you more, a little more relief. Thanks, man. Yeah, man, of course. Okay, bro, I'm gonna do some neck now. The neck ones are a little more scratchy. Just saying, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. It so feels good. fine? Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah. Some people, like I said, general discomfort, things can happen. But you're a trooper, bro. This is good. This is good. I'm glad that you feel this way. But I remember um, with my foot, I had twisted my ankle like really bad, like mm. it's, it was over. Bro, I came home immediately, my wife did hijab on my ankle. Mm. Bro, you know like that bruise that you would get? Mm -hmm. Like the day, the next day, mm -hmm. all of your ankles swelling and all that, bro. I didn't even have that and it was a bad, bad twist. So we're gonna be taking this off right now and we're just going to be removing all of the toxins here. Okay, now as you can see, it's on you. Nothing's gonna fall off because I have to take it off completely. So I'm just gonna basically take it off. Look at that. This is what it actually looks like right here. Okay, you ready? What is this? You see that? That's the blood. This is still toxin. This mm. is still toxin, by the way. But this is that famous wow. slug that you guys see. Of course, bro, you can see. This is at least four inches long. 
Wow. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? It's in your face now. What are you going to do? That smells disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Okay. See, as you can see, everything's closed. It's not like bleeding right yeah. now. Yeah, it's actually absolutely incredible. All toxin. All toxin. Wow. All toxin. Mm. Wow. Right? It's inside of me like that? It's inside, no, it's inside of you as a liquid form. When it comes okay. out, okay. it comes out like that. Okay. Was that a dumb question? No, it wasn't. Okay. That wasn't a dumb question, Zero. I'll do it on your side. So this is fully cleaned up, fully cleaned up. There's so much left in you, bro, by the way. This is not like 20 some years of toxin. Oh, this oh. is like 10 minutes of toxin. Oh. You get it? Like, yeah. I was just able to take off some from the surface. There's so much left in you. The longer you need it, are you like, no, no, no. have the repetition? I have to like continuously do it. It's a therapy. Mm. So this is all toxin. All of it's toxin. And uh, wow. this is what's stuck inside of it. Let's try it. <laughs> so is it supposed to have a burning effect? Uh, it can sting. That's why I'm putting oil to calm it down. Okay. And if it continues to sting, you just put oil. And just don't sleep on your back yeah, today. Yeah. Just on your right side, which is the sun anyways. Yeah. The lower two, I'll put some oil to relieve you. All these marks, bro, will be disappeared in five days. Fully gone, like nothing ever happened to you. Did you like what's here, bro? Thank oh, you so much. Oh, Show them the blood. Show them. This is what it looks <clears> like. This is what it looks look like. Look at that blood. So how do you how do you dispose yeah. of this? So basically in New York, we obviously have a system for syringes and for biohazards like blood. Okay, okay. You know, okay. It's a company who picks all these things uh, okay. up. But let me ask you, how's your body feeling? My lower back feels so loose. You know, usually there's pain. Yeah. I'm not saying the pain's gone, right? Yeah. But it's like, it's loose. There's no tight, I don't feel tightness. Yeah. So one thing that this does that? do is makes you feel loose and limber. And it does give you more okay. energy as well, too. So okay. the reason that you'll still have that pain is because the issue we already determined, and you're going to see in the, the video, is that there's some honest like issues with the sides. This is a therapy. It's not a one-time fix-all. I, I try to imagine like this. Like you don't just get one haircut and think you're good for the rest of your life, right? <laughs> yeah. And it grows back. It looks good for the beginning. Like your body's gonna feel great at first, but then after a few weeks, it's gonna start that pain's gonna come back, that mm -hmm. tightness, mm -hmm. and you're ready for another session. So people usually get this done every month. And that's what we recommend. How does how does my neck look? Yeah, no. It's a little, it's a little hickey-ish. Can you see? Can, can they see it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very hickey-ish, you know. So we okay. usually recommend people that they tell their wives and spouses. Before they come. <laughs> the last thing we need is some drama. You know, now we have to take him to the airport. He's leaving right now. I'm leaving right now. Like we're like, a little, little we're, about, we're about to take him to the airport. So I guess we'll take you guys along too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for trusting me with this. I always appreciate when people trust me, Hijab, because someone's actually cutting you. And you gotta trust the person mm -hmm. with the blade in your hand. You guys saw the whole process. Like you got an up close. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it now. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Again, don't forget that if you want to get this done, if you're in the Jersey area, New York area, go to him. Go to his clinic. Are you doing the face thing again? I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, go to him, get hijama done, follow him on Instagram at Way of Life SQ. He goes by SQ. Alright, yeah. you will never know what his name is. You won't right? answer. SQ, all right? And also, 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 gotta subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, gotta subscribe to the YouTube he channel. He is now taking the YouTube game very seriously. Very uh, seriously. He's starting a series called Jahiliya Diaries. You heard it first. And wow. you're also gonna start a series, Ask SQ. If you, you send questions, he'll give you advice, inshallah. Oh, that's it, but I'm really excited for that Jahiliya Diaries, bro. That's gonna be sick. Trust me, you don't wanna miss. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. His links are in the description below, inshallah. Go follow him, especially Instagram. He's, you know, his daily reminders are very beneficial, inspirational, motivational, alhamdulillah. And yeah, subscribe to his YouTube, give him a follow. And Thank you. this is my brother, take care, inshallah. Yeah, we gotta go to the airport. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get to the let's get to the So. You go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you sad that he's leaving? Yeah, he came for three days. If if that, alhamdulillah, is better than nothing. Uh, are you really close to my face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show Up close and personal. Show showing people my flaws, etc. <laughs> <laughs> He should be here. Oh, I think that's him. So SQ, SQ literally came for three days, and I'm very thankful. Okay, and it was a long three days. Alhamdulillah, it was, it's, it's it was great. great. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, you know, it's crazy. We just started talking on Instagram. And I was like, hey bro, you should just come to Egypt. And then he just wanted to be clear of how much of a sociopath you could have been. <laughs> could have been one. I, I'm just saying, it's true. Could have been a sociopath. And here he is in Egypt. I, I'm here in Egypt. I could have been in that bag. That's what I want to say. I could have easily been in that bag. You know, bro, come to Egypt. And I'm naive enough to be like, oh, right, let's go to Egypt. You know, let's go to Egypt, man. <laughs> All right, Mr. Yeah. Alrighty. We need more action. Alright. Uh, location, inshallah. Uh, one, uh, Nafura, uh, McDonald's. Back the McDonald's, uh, Matar, inshallah. Alright. Alright, alright. All right, we out of here. Yes, yes, we have a flight to catch, but nothing is more important than <laughs> he's gotta get McDonald's. No, 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 sir. It's called Mc McDonald's. 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 It's not McDonald's. It's McDonald's. So uh, we're getting McDonald's before he before he leaves for. Uh, Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, oh no, I joke with you. I joke with you. Lines over here, bro. Had to come. To Mickey D's. Had to we have just no, it's just no other option. I just got done hijama. I just look. I still got the. <laughs> sure he did. Can they, <laughs> can they see it? <laughs> yeah, they yeah. can see it. My reaction on it is actually pretty funny though. Now we gotta wait in this line because uh, my my boy wants McDonald's and I'm low key craving it too. Um, but he's got a flight to catch, so I do. priorities. But hold on, one second, what's that? McDonald's or going back to New York? Halal McDonald's or going back to New York? You tell me. <laughs> Halal McDonald's. I can miss my flight. It's all right. All right. I ordered. SQ still hasn't ordered. What you gonna get for? Have you decided yet? No. What man? The fish fillet is cheaper. It's always the other way around. Right. Royal. Oh, oh my god. Here at McDowell's. Assalamu alaikum. I want everything. He just want me to record. It's okay. Okay. But we uh we got it guys. Now we're just now we just gotta catch his flight, right? Bro, how was the McDonald's bro? Worth it. Yeah? Worth it. If I miss it, hey, I have McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> I don't want this to be my last flight. We're, we gotta catch this flight. Hopefully we'll catch it. It, it says the uh, it says the flight is, the airport's 40 minutes away right now. So uh, inshallah khair. And uh, we're cutting it really close. So bismillah. Yes. This is good. This traffic is not good. But maybe Allah just wants him to stay longer with us, right? But then also wants me to get fired because I gotta go to work. Or he's probably saving you from a flight that's not gonna go, you know, far. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'll take it. I'll take that. All right, we're pulling in. Alhamdulillah. Just see. Uh, let's see what happens. This is sad. Like as excited I am to go home. Cairo to family, Airport. Yeah. To my girls. It's just like, you guys, it's sad.
All right, all right, we made it. We made it a hundred times. See, he gets a spider. Woo! He's waiting, yeah? Oh, Let's get his luggage. Could you hold this for me, please? Mm -hmm. The most important cargo at McDonald's. <laughs> at McDonald's. How's it looking? <laughs> they understand that this is a part of the this is a part of the struggle. Yeah. Like this is gonna happen. Okay, let's let's go, bro. He's gonna wait for you guys, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he's waiting for us. Imagine this is what caused us to get late. Like imagine we did oh sorry, five more minutes ago. Uh, okay. Alright guys, he's gone. Uh will he catch his flight though? We don't know, so uh Maybe, maybe he'll end up staying longer. <laughs> it was all part of the plan. You're so funny. Um, but yeah, he's, he went into the airport. We couldn't go in behind him because it's not America. And America's the greatest. God bless America. I love America. Uh, Man that I love. <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, he's, he's in the airport. He's gone, inshallah. Jazak Malochin Jazak to all of you for watching. You probably can't see me right now, but it's okay. It's okay, because... um, for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the whole experience of watching uh, Hijama. If you haven't seen it before, uh, it was my first time getting it done. It was very, it was very chill. You know, it looks more extreme than it is, but like you don't feel anything. It's literally like a tickle, if that. You know. <laughs> um, I think that has a lot to do with the practitioner. Then. Yeah, and that probably has a lot to do with the person who's doing it, but it's okay. It's okay. It was it was great. And uh, SQ, he's based in New York. All right. So if you want to do it, uh, if you want to get it done, um, you can uh, hit him up through Instagram, inshallah. His Instagram is in the uh, is in the uh, description below. If not, I'm also gonna put it right here. It's at Way of Life SQ. Hit him up if you're a sister and you would like to get it done. You can also hit him up because his wife does the sisters, inshallah. So again. Jazakumullahu khairan. Take care, inshallah. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, smile. Stay humble. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.